Hi guys. So um, we are here at the back of the bus and Randy is going to start working on the rack for the mini split. Well, I got the basic dimension of the mini split taped on here. And I got support struts inside where those rivets are. So Joe's telling me if I bolt anywhere near those, I'm going to be fine. So I got a basic idea. This won't make a lot of sense to anybody. But anyway, this is going to be, we'll make a piece of angle iron that comes down and then it comes out and forms a shelf for the mini split to sit on. Over to there. And then... Over to where? Over to here. Just okay. past center. And we might as well make it go on over there and back up and then we can have some... Uh, extra cargo space. Some jerry cans or other things. And then yeah. Joe suggested putting a railing across across the top of it so we could tie that stuff down. Oh, good idea. And also so that if we ever wanted to and we were climbing up back here, we could use it as a step to climb on up over to up onto the top. Yeah. Uh, oh, and I'm gonna, so I'm gonna make it out of this, uh, I got more of this galvanized angle iron. I have to grind the galvanize off before I can weld it, but um, it's great material other than that little hitch. Get it cut out, I'll just make the basic tray first and then add on the supports and just keep going till it's done. All right. Keep adding metal till it's finished, right? All right, this is how far I made it today. I think you can get the idea. I made a pattern of the shape of the mini split, which Shelly says you can't see that on. But anyways, the feet of the mini split set right there. And the little electric box. So then that actually it'll sit out here a little bit. So it has a gap in behind for the air to come in and get sucked out. And then these will just bolt onto the bus. I gotta put a support down there. What's up, YouTube? My rack is not. <laughs> You're so funny. But it's ready to go up on there. Um, and I actually thought we could scrub it off with wire brushes and paint it ourselves. But then I was painting some of my flashings for the ceiling in there. And it's hard to paint galvanize without etching it with some serious prep. So I'm going to take it to the powder coat and let him sandblast it and clean it up good and then powder coat it. We got little hangers on there so the mini split goes here. It's all drilled and ready to mount the mini split on and then here some redwood decking goes in and I got two diesel cans that fit there and I got uh, lash down points for the spare diesel cans to go on there. So it's ready to be powder coated. It's awesome. I'm excited about it. So next time you see this, it should be done and going up on the bus, I hope. <laughs> anyway, I hope all you guys are having lots of love in your life and some great projects to work on. See you in the next video.